time. Time to make a video. What can I make a video on today? Whew, it gets stressful doing two videos a day, that's for sure. But also a lot of fun. What can I talk about though? Let's see, I can do some obscure toy line that no one ever heard of, but no one's gonna really wanna watch that. Plus, it's gonna be a toy they never even heard of. How fun is that for viewers? Do one about Star Wars vintage toys, but what's left to say about it that hadn't been said on this channel already? Could do one of those classic videos. No, I'll save those for noontime. And that's just a rip off as a way to get another video up without doing any much work. What can I do a video on? Hmm, I know. How about that Bifatuna with the red cloak? Or is it a red cape? Or is it a red house coat? I think it's more of a house coat. I think for the video I'll say cloak. If I say house coat, I'll get made fun of. Can't have that. Anyway, I could do a video about how that was never released, although people swear they had it, and they know about it. Even my buddy Russ knows about it. I don't know how he doesn't keep up with this stuff like I do. Yeah, I could do a video on that. Probably a short video, but I could do it. Well, what would I say about it? Oh, the red coat was just a prototype. But how do people even know about it? Well, if they had the Return of the Jedi 77 back card, they saw it there, and some cars after it, but it first appeared on the 77 back card. And there it was with a red house coat, I mean a red cloak. And if you had the JCPenney catalog, it was in there also. What about a Sears catalog? I don't remember if it was in it. We did have a Wilson and a Keys catalog showroom. I don't think anyone knows what a Keys catalog store is except for me. And then there was Montgomery Ward. I don't know if they even had toys or a Star Wars section in their books. I don't even know if they did a wish book. I did have an old piece of cardboard that said Montgomery Ward taped across the window in my old Ford. But that's a whole different story. And then there was the Darth Vader carrying case. The one released during the Return of the Jedi era. They had the insert inside that showed Bifatuna with the red cloak. Other than that, the figure never got released. Then in the 90s and onward, there was a lot of fake ones. Even on cards, it looked really good. That probably muddied the water also. And then you have some that swear they play with it. But they went down south, past the border, into Mexico. They remember when they went to see their friend, Eddie Ortega, down in Mexico. And as their dad listened to the latest Freddy Fender album, they remember playing with a red cloak Biff Fatuna. But they didn't. But they may have played with a Biff Fatuna with a burgundy cloak. Burgundy. It's kind of like red. Now, not to be confused with the Star Wars burgundy job of the hut hat, or maybe the Star Wars burgundy shoes. Burgundy. Am I saying that right? Now I can't remember even how to say the word. Has anyone ever said a word so many times they can't even remember they're saying it right anymore? Burgundy. I can't even talk anyway. Burgundy. Well, whatever burgundy is, it's not red. Now, they could have got it mixed up with squid head or the squid face. Squid head, right? Now, that guy came with a bunch of different cloaks, capes, house coat, whatever you want to call it. But that took a whole video to talk about all the ones he came with. But as for the burgundy cloak, that was only released in Mexico. Lily Lad? Lily Lad? Is that how you say that? I'm not sure I have to look that up before I make the video. Lily Lad. So, I guess it's possible that a kid went down to Mexico and a friend had it and they saw it there and got it confused with a red one. But that's probably unlikely. I mean, yeah, sure, kids probably had friends in Mexico, but overall, most of us didn't. If you did go down there, I hope you didn't drink the water. Can I still make that joke about don't drink the water in Mexico? Is that not PC anymore? Anyway, I can make a video about that, how the red cloak bit for tuna isn't a thing. It's just a prototype. It's weird they even did it at all. I mean, it wasn't red in the movie, was it? I think it was great. Or am I just used to seeing the figure so much? Just like for years, I thought Han had a blue jacket when he was on Hulk. Cause the Kenner figure was blue. But then it comes out it wasn't even blue. Boggles the mind. Now I gotta go back and watch Return of the Jedi, non-special edition, and see what color his cloak, cape, house coat, or whatever it was. Then there was a prototype bit for tuna that had a white house coat. Ah, I couldn't make a video about this. Not enough to make a full video about it. I guess I can just make another top 10 video, they're easy to make, about the best action figure with a camel toe. That'd give me some clicks for sure. I don't know. I'll find something to do a video on. And then I'll say, thumb up so you like my content, subscribe to the channel, and all that. People's tired of hearing that. I gotta come up with something better to say at the end. And then at the end I'll say, till the next video, we'll talk again. I can't think of anything to make a video on. Not with this empty stomach. I think I'll go eat a hot dog.
Yeah, I'll eat a hot dog. And then who knows? Maybe I can find something to make a video on this stuff. Maybe something. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>